Seeking the truth when it comes to the relationship between the Bible and God is of the utmost importance. God's words and work are all in the Bible. God's words and work can't exist outside the Bible. Many of Lord Jesus' words are not recorded in the Bible. This is commonly acknowledged. Lord Jesus foretold he would come again. How could the returned Lord Jesus' words be recorded in the Bible ahead of time? The Bible contains the fullness of God's salvation. The Bible is the Lord. Amen. Amen. The religious world acknowledges this. All the believers have based their faith on the Bible. So I believe the Bible stands for the Lord. Belief in the Bible means belief in the Lord. Amen. Amen. You substitute the Bible for the Lord and the words and work of His return. Isn't that a betrayal of the Lord? Are you a servant of the Lord or a servant to the Bible? People place the same status to the Bible as they do to God. There's even those who acknowledge the Bible, but not God. They regard the Bible as supreme and even use it to replace God. The religious world has sunk to the point where they only acknowledge the Bible and not the Lord's return, and so they're doomed. Almighty God says, they were not people who believed in God, but people who believed in the Bible. Essentially, they were watchdogs of the Bible. If man's faith consists solely in abiding by the Bible and their heart has no place for the Lord, if they cannot worship the Lord as great and practice His words, if they are incapable of accepting and obeying God's work and guidance, then wouldn't you say that such a man is a hypocritical Pharisee? I don't agree with your views. We mustn't ever forsake the Bible in our faith. God can save man. But can the Bible do the same? Well, no. no. Not. God can express the truth. Can the Bible do that? No, absolutely not. God can enlighten and guide mankind at any time. Can the Bible do that? Not at all. No way. God is God. And the Bible is the Bible. Man places the Bible on par with God, thinking it can represent God. Is this not belittlement and blasphemy? since the Bible's a record of God's Word and man's testimony. Why can't we receive eternal life from reading the Bible? The Lord Jesus has said, Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, and you will not come to me that you might have life. Amen. Amen. The Bible does not have eternal life. Only Christ is the life, the truth, and the way. Amen. Amen. Christ of the last days brings life and brings the enduring and everlasting way of truth. This truth is the path through which man shall gain life and the only path by which man shall know God and be approved by God. 